Cybos is committed to protecting the environment, caring for the community and promoting diversity, equity and inclusion. Yeah, that's right. Working closely and collaborating with the Cybos community, the long-term aim is to be one of the most sustainable global events and lead much-needed change across the industry. And we can explore this in more detail with Madhu uh, Jadhab, head of uh, ESG Center of Excellence at SWIFT. Welcome, Madhu. I hope you're enjoying Beijing. Thank you so much. 2024. Uh, great to have you with us. Let's let's get straight into it. What is the Cybos sustainability strategy? What does that entail? So at Cybos, we're deeply committed to sustainability. Um, our strategy revolves around three pillars, and it's continued to evolve around these three pillars. First, protecting the planet. Second is on caring for the community. And thirdly, around uh, championing diversity, equity, and inclusion. Now, these are values that embodies everything that we do here at Cybos. And they're not only the values of SWIFT, but they're also values of our exhibitors and participants. And together with our community, we hope to make this a truly global, sustainable event in the world. And I'm, I'm seeing hints of it all over, but I, I'd love to get an understanding. As you said, Cybos is really committed to reducing its environmental impact. What are the concrete actions that we can see and, and as you can cite, that really um, underscore this? Yeah, this year we're aiming high. Uh, a number of small things that I wanted to highlight. Firstly, reducing the raw material usage. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to limit the amount of raw materials that we use. Most of the things that you see in putting together Cybos and the exhibition is either rented, reused, or recycled. Secondly, we are sourcing most of the things from local produce and items that are locally available to reduce the unnecessary transportation. Now, the KPIs that we've set ourselves in these two, 85% of the raw materials are yeah. locally uh, sourced, uh, which is fantastic. The third one is something that I'm very, very passionate about, which is the carpets that you see around here, they are recyclable. And after, after, produ after the show is over, the carpets will go on to become other textiles, wall coverings and other. So they will go on to become recycled and re reused later on. Fourthly, around the food that we uh, that we serve here, they come from a diverse. They got, we've got a number of options, and it sources it's sourced locally, and it showcases this local flavors and se seasonal vegetables. Now, um, uh, if you followed us from Cybos Toronto, you'll realize that we have a carbon score against all of the food, and thereby all of our participants can make an informed decision about uh, their food choices that they make here at Cybos. Now, so as I said, there's a number of small things that we do throughout Cybos, and all of these little things can come together, and we hope to make a mighty impact from a sustainability perspective. For sure. Sounds like so many things have been thought of uh, already, but what other initiatives, dare I ask, uh, will there be to fight climate change at Cybos 2024? Uh a couple of things comes to mind, actually. Um, uh, firstly, Cybos has always been supporting nature as a nature cons conservation projects. This year, we're partnering with WWF, and we, we are co contributing to an initiative called as Living Yangtze Initiative in China. Um, and the Yangtze River is one of the third largest, uh, longest river in, in the world. And a number of millions of hundreds of Chinese people depend on the river. Yeah. Now, what's fantastic about this initiative is um, the Yangtze River supports a, a multitude of diverse, biodiverse um, um, uh, organisms. Now, it covers from um, uh, pandas to uh, to 400 species of fish, including unique freshwater poppers. So that's very unique. Um, we're also happy to announce that Cybos in the CNCC in China is being powered primarily by green electricity, which is, which is again, a big change for us. That's huge. That's huge. And I know that caring for the community is one pillar that Cybos sustainability strategy is really focused on. Can you tell us more about the charity partner this year? How is Cybos supporting the community in Beijing? Yeah, this year we're partnering with Beijing Charity Association. Mm -hmm. Now, Beijing Charity Association provides financial and well-being support to orphans, young children, elderly, and especially able people. Um, Cybos is providing uh, financial aid to the charity. But in addition, we're also, once the exhibition is over, we would be providing collection centers where some of the furniture and other uh, reusable items from our exhibitors is then given to the charity organization as well. And last but lo uh, not least, uh, how are you promoting diversity, equity and inclusion? Seems like a lot there, but you've got a lot on your plate. Yeah, 
No, uh, again, diversity, equity, and inclusion is again a core pillar of Cybos, and it always has been. Um, Cybos is a part; uh, it it is a part of the inclusive panels chapter as well. So you'll see a number of conference programs that's designed around diversity, equity, and inclusion, especially focusing on neurodiversity, um, employee engagement, and wellness. Basically, uh, we also have a target of having forty percent of our speakers with gender balance. So forty percent of our speakers are female speakers in the conference. Um, then the Star Scholarship Program is back again this year. We've got a big cohort. We have 31 people this year in, in the Star Scholarship Program. The program is curated for them. They got special experience at the Cybos Week with networking op options with senior uh, colleagues, including board members. And uh, yeah, we hope to incre increase their uh, growth and their career progression. Um, and finally, tomorrow, we have the Diversity and Equity uh, Networking Program, um, and we have a great speaker, Dr. Leong, and she's a researcher, TEDx speaker, and uh, she's also the co-founder of K9 Assistance uh, Foundation. Um, and she promises to bring in a lot of context around neurodiversity and uh, how to address some of those challenges in workplace uh, promises to be a great event and I hope to see a number of them there love it oh, Madhu, it sounds like you've got a lot of balls to juggle an uh, awful lot to do this week thank you so much for giving us a little bit of time here on Cybos TV uh, that's Madhu Jedov uh, head of ESG Centre of Excellence at Swift <laughs>